Welcome to this tutorial on using Print Merge in Corel Draw. The Print Merge tool is a fantastic way to mass produce a set of items and save time and money in the process. In this example, I will create a set of number plates for a local high school. These are the plates that will be put on each classroom door. First, load the Print Merge toolbar by clicking on Window, Toolbars, and then checking Print Merge. Click on Create slash Load. Click on Create New Text, and then click Next. In the Print Merge dialog box, you can enter data as either a number or as text. In the Text field, I'll type Subject, and then click on the Add button. Next, I'll type in Room in the Numeric field, and click Add. Under the column, I'll type the first room number, for example 101. Room 101 is Math, so I'll also type Math under the class heading. Once I have this entered, I'll click on the New button and be prompted for the next record. I'll just add six number plates for this example. After clicking Next, it will give you the opportunity to save the data that you've entered. Choose a directory, give the file a name, and then click Save. Now you will see that the Create Load button has been grayed out on the Print Merge toolbar and that the other options have been made available. To build the document, we will add the first merge field, the room number. To do this, make sure that the drop-down to the left of the Insert button on the Print Merge toolbar is set to Room, and then click the Insert button. This will place the variable on the document. For the room number in this example, I'll make it 100 point Arial, Next, select Subject from the drop-down and click Insert once more, and the subject will be 48-point Arial. Both will be center justified. Now to output the file, click on the Print button. Next, change the layout to fit to page so as to make sure all the plates will print the same size, and none of the edges will be cut off. Click on the Print Preview button in the bottom left corner. By clicking on the Imposition Layout tool, it will enable me to dictate how many images horizontally and vertically I want to lay out. In this example, there will be two columns and three rows. Now when you click on the Arrow tool, it will display a preview and then it's simply a matter of sending it out to print. Thank you for watching this video on how to use the Print Merge tools in CorelDRAW.